Hey what's up everyone, so today we've got some couple of things to talk about in today's Addy's Had Gaming Time. You may get another episode with updated stuff, either this week or next week, but uh, today we've got some stuff to talk about. We have and some old stuff that I forgot to report on, so yeah, here it is. We're not talking anything about Fortnite or PUBG at all. Alright, so with the Spider-Man game that's coming to PlayStation 4 only, I know that there are many skins coming through, I know there's a lot of stuff coming through, and I, I, I think I've already reported that the release date uh, has been released, um, but one of the things I I was particular about, I couldn't see any actual footage about it, but now it is confirmed that the Avengers Infinity War skin will be in the Spider-Man um, PlayStation 4 game. Now, uh, I don't... <laughs> From the little bit that they had, it really doesn't look like, hey, they're going to put the Iron Spider in, so they're just going to put the suit, and then that's it. So, um, yeah. Well, in fact, here's that clip that I saw. Star Wars Battlefront 2. Now, I'm not going to be talking about any news or anything. I want to talk about how was Night on, Night on Endor. I think it was fairly good, um, to the point where the Ewok Hunt mode, I will... Be releasing um, hopefully by now I would have released a few on it um, link will be down below but in order conch but in everything else I'm gonna give the mode 10 out of 10 but what about the skins uh, some of the skins are fine but I think the Chewbacca one is just pointless but the rest of them I just think they're fine they are um, I know that there's some little updates with it. I know, I know the microtransactions came back, but with the microtransactions, you don't have to use the microtransactions. You can just play the game. You can, um, if you want to. I don't know, maybe buy um, skins if you want to. Just play the game, and and, and I know it's not going to be like the wish not buff ones, but you just have to think of it kind of like this, that the old days of having games with no microtransactions, those days are over. I know some games don't have microtransactions, I know the Spider-Man one won't be, but with Star Wars Battlefront 2, you may think you have lost, but in a way, like what EA said, the microtransactions has nothing to do with the gameplay. So yeah. Oh, and speaking of Battlefront 2, I might as well just put this in. The original Battlefront 2 um, is apparently coming to Xbox One to be compatible on April 26. A game that um, I guess it's crowded and funded around PewDiePie called Animal Super Score. Now at the moment, I know that it's out on, um, on mobile and PC. But it is also set to come to Switch and other consoles. Now I haven't seen any other release dates for it. So instead I'm going to have to list the PewDiePie uh, channel down below. So yeah. But let me know if you if there is a release date for it. Maybe it's this year. I have no idea. I'm not pretty big on these two games. but The Neighbor was a game that came out last year on the PC and Xbox One. But one of the things they did not come out on was the PlayStation 4. And that was a really downer. The only reason why I bought an Xbox One is for that game. So they haven't been getting any gameplay. It's just when I first got it. It's frustrating. But the moral point is that the Halo Neighbor has been announced... Um, to come to the PlayStation 4 and Switch. Now, if you've signed up to their website, you may get emails, kind of like updating. And all they've teased of Battlegrounds, the thing that they posted on April 1st, as a joke, but they may, but now they're teasing, hey, this could be a thing, or this could not be a thing, but we cannot talk about it, so I said they're going to talk about the other ones, so yeah. Um, so, those links will be down below. Many of you are annoyed, pissed off, but I have not played fan games in quite a while. I do have one fan game that I just did a little play around because it's been quite a long time, Crash Unlimited. Um, if I release that, it's just nothing new. I just play some of the game just to test some gameplay out on my new laptop. But the point is, is that I did try to play a fan game the other day. I downloaded it and it would not Upload. It's one of those newest ones, only going by the title Crash. Link with 
Link will be down below, but I will try my best to um, play that game again. Now, I'm not done with fan games, okay? It's just, I'm very lazy and hoping soon to get more busy. But speaking of fan games, I want to talk about the Scrub Fill, Scrub Fill, a game that can win the um, F um, 305 is making. Now, this game is a fan game on a YouTuber. Now, last time I reported on it, I just basically said you main details, but this time is an update. Now, on um, April 1st, um, he treated the the accounts of the game tweeted that hey there's going to be a link coming through today because the game's finished but it turned out to be that was the April Fool's joke itself so honestly we have actually no idea when the full game will actually be out and it's going to take to be honest games take a long time to make they're going to take ages to make and from the screenshots and everything it still looks good to me it does how this game is one interesting game and how I would like to be a voice actor um, contact me if you would um, but um, the game looks quite fine but thank you guys so much for watching now um, if you've got any new stuff or whatever that has to do with gaming please let me know down below in the comments and I may talk about it on the next episode I try and release these on Fridays I do but sometimes it gets out for Saturday Sunday <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and peace guys, see ya.